Okay, I removed that controller from the bike and now it's on the table and I just check it how it works and I have that kind of motor there that's the second motor and this is it's working fine as you can see there is sound wave This kind of controller, this is going to the bike, and this this works. I also have this pass sensor, and uh, but I don't have a, a screen yet display. I can turn on this. Uh, controller if I just short circuit this blue and uh, red wire but it still doesn't work maybe there is some error or is it's just not working without the display I also measure this controller when it's uh, connected to the bat battery and it's, it's uh, like standby it doesn't draw current almost at all so I think I'm I don't need that uh, power switch anymore so I'm gonna, gonna remove that power switch from the bike and this is gonna go inside that box but now I just need to wait that uh, display for a few weeks maybe So there is this new controller. I don't have the display yet. I'm still waiting it from the China. But you can turn on this by short circuiting blue and red wire. I have short circuit there now. I also have power from the power supply. And this is the pedal assisting sensor which came with this controller and as you can see the green LED is light and it detects some motion but I don't wanna install this to the bike because the bike already has this kind of hull sen sensor I just now need to measure these wires and cut off here and make this sensor works so I don't need to remove cranks or crank for this sensor this look very suspicion magnets uh, I think that those are the magnets and this plastic wheel when it's spinning sensor is there 
but yeah, I, I just need to cut this flyer and then measure those wires and see that signal with scope is it same with this bolt. Okay, so I now have scope hookup to this sensor and as you can see when I turn this it gives 4 volts peaks every time the magnets go by so let me test with that another how sensor does it do the same okay so this sensor it gives constant 2.8 volts and magnet doesn't do anything so this one doesn't work with this controller I need to use that with game with controller position sensor so now when I'm gonna change that controller I need to do something with this I don't need those buttons anymore because that controller doesn't use power almost at all when it's standby so I can connect battery and it, it won't drain it I also need to switch this back to this side and that remove that throttle, throttle handler and these wires and cables I have this aluminium plate I'm gonna make new new side panel for that bike because this has so many holes it's not good anymore I throw some lines with pencil and now I'm gonna somehow saw this piece off and drill those holes so there is a new side panel I'm gonna just put some spray paint black paint on it and then I call it good so I'm gonna remove this crank I have this this is the which pull that crank off on this is that sensor it's going here so now the pedestal sensor is mounted and the side panel also I put some uh, black paint to here and there it looks better now so now I just need to mount the battery and the mm, uh, display and this one is ready to go so the display is now connected to the controller and I have a power supply connected also moment of truth does it work with this controller turn it on why this, it doesn't uh, show any errors there is no motor or, or anything connected well at least we have power uh, so next problem is that these wires and connectors they don't can go through uh, that hole let me put some light that hole is so so tiny so this won't go through I think I just snap off this wires and then I'm gonna solder it those inside that inside the box 
so then those all cables can fit through that hole okay so now then everything is connected there is lots of soldering connections with heat shrink tube this is only connector where I just put those connectors in this connector those pins and then I put heat sink but I I didn't shrink this yet because I don't know if there is something wrong with this battery is hooked up and the display display is on this is now on but when I put this let me place this there okay now the controller and wires are stuffed in that box and here is the display and when I'm spinning this you can see the how sensor is uh, blinking but the display doesn't show anything and the motor is not spinning so I think I need to read this manual first okay now I managed to make that speed it looks speed is now okay Re reading that but still that motor don't do anything there is this some kind of push uh, when I push this minus button for a long time the motor should spin at 6 km per hour and it spins but it stops immediately so motor is broken or this display this doesn't work with the controller or there is something wrong with wires now I got it work there was some settings it was uh, P 21 22 23 they have something to do with uh, motor and I changed those valves and suddenly the motor just start to spin now those all valves are zero um, so when I press this for a long time it goes to this uh, pedal assistant cock mode and this is the normal mode now when I spin these cranks it starts to help but there is if I put high mode power it's go way too fast there is setting uh, p08 and it set to 20, 25 kilometers per hour but it doesn't work it's no matter what uh, value I put there it doesn't uh, doesn't make any difference so there is no speed limit with this one but I'm happy motor spins and I might be get this I can go to drive this soon there is very cold outside so I don't know when I'm gonna but now I'm, I can assemble this, this and close that and place this battery secure it to 
it into the frame and put this display back to where it belongs. So here it is done. I'm now charging charging the battery. It's drained somehow, I don't know why. It's now like uh, you see 70 70 watts it's going in. This charger is from some electric scooter and this uh, plug is from uh, some uh, portable vacuum cleaner battery is molded and uh, there is this lock it's also here the display is molded over there So soon I'm gonna take a first ride. I'm on the test drive now. There is something wrong with battery. It it has for voltage and I'm gonna drive it maybe maybe less than a minute and then it shut down. I think there is might be some bad cells inside the battery, so I have to test with another battery or try to fix the battery. But everything else works fine. There is lots of power in the motor and very very easy to um, pedal. Maybe a little bit too easy, even in lower setting this one goes pretty fast and it's feel funny to pedal because you don't have to do almost nothing but we have some problem with the battery 